1994. From the, murky banks, from the murky banks of terrestrial radio, a new hope begins to rise. Opie and Anthony are radio shock jocks known for setting up outrageous stunts. People sure are listening. Two Long Island natives who together would one day change the world as broadcasting's greatest duo. Oh my God! It was beautiful! After 20 years, these children of the 80s have arrived. Their hugely popular radio show is not just in New York anymore. Opie and Anthony show. The hottest show on the radio. 55 gallon drums and wiffle ball bats. All the way in there. You push it in until you're comfortable. From mayors to mayor. It was an April Fool's hoax by two radio disc jockeys. With bottle rockets and bra bombings. <laughs> and wieners and pigs. Opie and Anthony got their hands on the photo and tweeted it. Two men that have taken a box of cocks further than any. Well, these people will definitely stop. Guaranteed. Oh, Lift okay, up this the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> They've met friends along the way. <laughs> I have a raging heart on right now. Can I please put my dick in your donuts? And through fines, scandals, suspensions, cancellations, and terminations, it's the one show that remains unscathed. Striking fear into the hearts of management everywhere comes a radio show that after 20 years remains above all else real. This is the Opie and Anthony Show. But enough of this palaver. Let's get the show on the road. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. It's the Opie and Anthony Show. Uh, and the mics yeah. sound... Today, the mics sound bad. Are they bad? Wait, yeah. wait. Oh, a little, um, like, tinny. Extremely and, um, tinny. A little tinny. Sam, we can't do it. <laughs> we have to go home. No, I'm, I'm not even joking. Hmm. I could do my test, which I normally go, Welcome aboard! Uh, yeah. I actually hear it. What? You, you hear it, right? Uh, it feels a little hollow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's something yeah, going that's on. That's all our content. Oh. Oh, it's always. <laughs> like your power. It's always the way. But, all right, Mars is getting, what, his vagina worked on. Yes. Yes. Vagioplasty. Vagioplasty. He's, he's having a couple of stitches put in to tighten it up. <laughs> <laughs> his dangling lips are embarrassing him in bikinis. <laughs> Mars. <laughs> so how hard is it, whoever replaces him, to just have the studio set like we usually do? Why, why have they made this so complicated? I don't know why it changes every morning. Like, it's just like, amazing. You just think it would be left alone. Right. I think the problem is that we don't have... A regular replacement, right? It's yeah. just like who's here in the morning. But why would they s screw with the you, you sound of the like mic list, anyway? Like but, just a checklist. Just but shouldn't do they it this way? Shouldn't they have like a one sheet? Oh, here's all the settings. Yeah, yeah. I don't get it. Well, I get that though. <laughs> hey, look at yeah. you know you know what I'm looking at right now. It's right in front of me. A nice, like no. tiny little monitor. <laughs> there little, it is. A little excitement in the air today. <laughs> Quite the buzz. Tiny monitor. Quite the buzz to the point Tim said. Oh, yeah. I love Tim Sabian, and I'm I'm all in with Tim because because at this point I just have to be. Yeah. People are asking why. I'm like, because I just have to be at this point. Uh -huh. You can't bitch for 20 years and then fucking not do something about it. Yeah, so yeah. this is our last shot. Yeah. Good old Tim is our last shot. And uh, he sent out an email yesterday that he finally, you know, uh, replaced your giant monitor with a smaller monitor. Yes. I didn't write him back. Oh, you didn't? And he was so excited about it. I wrote him back. You did? What, yeah, what because you write? it's kind of, you know, my thing. I've been bitching about this giant fucking monitor that's been in front of me since we got here. Yeah. And, um... And and since we put in these new boom mics uh, for Jimmy and the, and the guest a, a while back, the boom mic hits the top of the monitor. If I don't come in every morning and push it down, and it's a it's a hassle because you got to push it down, but not too much, or it'll sink the entire way down to the floor. Yeah, on the bracket it's on. Yeah. So it's just been this thing, this ritual that I've had to do every morning that I fucking just I hated it. Right. And the monitor was too big and bulky. It takes up too much room. Um. So I've been asking for this little monitor. 
Well, the past week, people have been scurrying. <laughs> scurrying, I say. <laughs> uh, to get this monitor. Apparently, the, it was affected by the snowstorm because it was coming up from D.C. with Don Wicklin. And Don couldn't make it Don up because of the make snowstorm. It, and the monitor couldn't make it. And oh, my Lord. So yesterday, as I was trying to escape uh, the show, uh, at the end of the show, Tim Sabian came up and started talking about mm. said monitor. Right. And uh, how he's going to rip that goddamn thing out. Mm -hmm. And tomorrow, this big monitor won't be here. But he said that a few times. Well, everyone has said that for well over three years. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. so uh, this morning, I walk in. and Well, actually, I got the emails last night. I got one from uh, Tim Sabian. Uh -huh. I got uh, actually two from Tim Sabian and uh -huh. one from Don Wicklin. Uh -huh. All about the monitor. <laughs> 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 There's a buzz in the studio. Oh, Things are getting done. Studio is a buzz <laughs> because uh, right in front of me is a tiny little monitor. Maybe with the phones on it. Maybe we could give Tim Sabian the participation trophy. You know what? Where's that thing? Is it right still there. around? He's officially done more than the uh, person that was supposed to get it. Do you remember that guy at all? At this point, I don't even remember their names. I saw him in the hall just having small talk. Did you? With another music guy, and what they were just like, "Well, we're gonna have some uh, music." Like, well, well, that's a good idea. <laughs> just happy. Oh, it must be nice. Remember how many times we brought him almost to tears? You think Deep Tracks ever wants to go to the Super Bowl? <laughs> no, he you just... think Deep Tracks ever? You think fucking uh, the 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 '90s channel ever wants to fucking right. put together a? a, a Bus yeah, tour, no, or no. A cruise, or a comedy thing, or but he was holding his coffee, having that small talk oh, about yeah. one of the music channels here. He loves it. He's good at that. I've always said it. They love the fact that they're not dealing with this fucking program anymore. I'm just mad he didn't take his participation trophy. What does it say? Uh, world's greatest it. secretary. I don't well, think he I mean, took it in the spirit in which it was uh, <laughs> intended. No, I think he did actually. Yeah, that's probably why. <laughs> well, that's why he had no business being with us to begin with. Because yeah. when you just take the trophy as a goof, go, oh, that's funny, guys. Okay, I'm moving on. You're moving on. Thanks yeah. for this, the silly. I would just be like, oh, thanks for the silly trophy. Or you could take it and then, like, maybe put it on uh, someone's chair yeah. the next morning. Like, like, hey, stick this up your ass. Oh, whoa. Whatever, hey, yeah. you know. Yeah, or, yeah. You know? Yeah, do a little uh, Bad News Bears thing. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Take it and then throw it at us. Dude, that's right. what he did. Right. Hey, Opie and Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> what a great scene. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway. So, uh, yeah, the, 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 the great monitor controversy is finally over. Nice. I have a tiny little monitor here. Let me let me squint and see. Is that what Jimmy do, from Jersey? What do we want to get done next? Uh, yeah. Um... Hmm. I know we got one hmm. one step at a time. Maybe a good dusting. <laughs> a dusting. Uh, look at all that shit over there. But they did leave out the keyboard and mouse for me in front, and I don't use the keyboard and mouse. That's your keyboard. I, apparently, it was in front of me, so I had to throw it over there. I only needed the monitor. I just need to see the calls. So, not, so, I don't need the ability to take the call. So, how about that's our next? Oh, I think Ronnie uses that. Is that what it is? Oh, okay. yeah. Ronnie's uh, doing his show from our studio. Is he like, ah, this monitor? I can't see it. Too small. Yeah. And if Fez, I had quite a delightful time with them on the air. Yes. With Ron and Fez. Yeah, yes. it was really a very fun night. They're uh, doing it, man. They're doing very well. Yeah. They're uh, doing great. So Absolutely. Well, it's uh, day two of this polar vortex. It is uh, <laughs> a little cold out, and boy, they love talking about it, don't they? Yep. But I haven't seen anyone with the shirts, the, the frozen shirts. Uh, I uh, think that was a... They realized that was kind of getting hacky. Even yeah, they yeah. realized. Yeah, they got killed. They got <laughs> they, killed for it. Yes, they did. <laughs> Not just us. Everyone went after them. Everyone. It, it's eight degrees this morning in New York City. Yeah, boy, so. you gotta love that auto fucking start on a vehicle. Yeah. You get up, and while you're still like, <laughs> you start Not, your fucking nothing vehicle. Nothing better than hearing that noise from the ah. warmth of your house. Ah. Uh, that, that comes in handy with kids and and traveling. The, Let me tell you. Oh, I bet. Let the me old tell days you. where you're like, 
I got to go out and warm the car up. Then Rem- you'd have to trudge out. Remember the yeah. Well, remember the days you would just say fuck it and jump in, jump and the in. first fifteen minutes of your ride to work was just miserable. You're and like then you Quasimodo. finally start feeling that heat coming. <laughs> yeah, you, you'd be you would, you'd be like Quasimodo hunched over the steering right. wheel because for some reason you'd have to lean forward right. as much as you can to hold that body warmth. Well, your stupid body does weird things to try to get oh, some warmth yeah. going. Yeah, yeah, it hunches you over. The what about not even dealing with cold. the what about not even dealing with the winch? Shield either so you like you would turn on your car bl- <laughs> crank the heat and the vents the defroster and then just start going to work through this like ice shield looking through this little like a tank <laughs> and then you would get really happy when it would give you about an inch or two and you yeah, would yeah. lean all the way down as you're flying down the lie hit the wipers like <laughs> oh another quarter inch came right. off and it, oh, that's right. good yeah, that's good and then all of a sudden you get that nice wipe where it's like <laughs> oh, like I, ah nice and then I you're can see. you're nice and warm as you're pulling into your fucking parking yeah, spot. Yeah. The steering wheel, you'd have to pull your sleeves over your hands because the steering wheel... Those old school steering wheels that would be like 10 degrees colder right. than outside for right. some reason. God, yeah. We've we've lived through some things. Had some advancements in the automotive industry as far as comfort goes, that's for sure. The heated seat is another thing that's great. I'm a big fan of the heated seat. The heated seat. Even, even in the summer. Really? Yeah. I'll, I'll Are crank, you kidding? No, I'm not. I, I, I crank up my AC, and then yeah. I get a nice warm back. <laughs> it's a great combination. I've never heard of like such a thing. Heated? I can't take that. I, I got no, a shitty, I got a shitty back from being a caddy uh, way back in the day. So. Caddy. My back is shitty. I'm always constantly working on it. So a little it, heat on there would be oh, nice. Oh, it's nice. And the lumbar? Do you fucking pump that lumbar my, up? My latest car doesn't have a lumbar. What? Yeah, I used to love the Hell, lumbar. You're I a would, white man. I would push that lumbar button. Yeah. <sighs> it just bends your back. You're like, oh, that's <laughs> <Right>. good. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, do I love a good lumbar. <laughs> I don't understand why they haven't come up with something in the seat where it's uh, automatic massage. Because it probably put people to sleep as they're just driving. Just going up and down. Just a very yeah. basic roller from I bet top to things. bottom. I bet there are things they've thought of that people have said, no, we can't do that. People what? will just literally fall asleep how, as they're driving. How about if... It can't be too comfy. How about this? When uh, you're down to a certain speed, yeah. meaning you're bumper to bumper motherfucking traffic and you're miserable, that's when that shit works. But as soon as you get over a certain speed, it don't work no more. I don't like that. That's like that GPS thing in my vehicle where it's like I start moving and I can't adjust the map you or anything. You have to be stopped to do it. You have it, to yeah. be stopped. It's a no, pain can, in the ass. You can squeeze one. You, you, can, you squeeze. can as you're rolling off a red light, but if you start getting over like 10 miles an oh, hour... Oh, mine will reset so you can squeeze as you're driving. Yeah. You got to do it in steps. Like, okay, I got the step one in. Uh, all right, nice. nah, damn, it's not letting me do anything right now. Uh, yeah. But then it lets me do a little more. It really is more distracting than if I was just able to do it, because now you're looking, seeing if you could adjust it. It's right. taking longer. They have voice control for that yet? They got to get voice control for that. I was yeah. just about to ask. Yeah, they do. Yeah, my car's Some little, vehicles. I, I got to get a new car. Yeah. I'm up to like, uh, I don't know. Wow, my car might be like five years old already. Five years? Yeah, shit. I got the 2015 Escalade. Uh, you're getting that? Spring, yeah. Nice. Is that the spring? All new, redesigned. Redesigned for the homies. Mm. That's, the homies love the Escalade. I want to talk about what we what we were talking about as we were leaving yesterday. How, was st- how stupid it is to live in cold climates. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We were having this discussion after the after the show. Like, there's no reason why you yeah. should be living in an area where it gets cold for three or four months of the year, where you just do nothing yeah. and waste your life. Yeah, yeah. I, I was, I was thinking that and, too, yeah. and with social uh, media and you know the Instagram and the Twitter and and uh, and whatnot, you see people just having the best days oh. as you're sitting in eight degree weather and <laughs> doing nothing, just I was, waiting. I saw a picture of someone just oh here's the Santa Monica Pier tonight, and there's just people jogging on the beach with barely anything on, going for a stroll, I, I, going I, for I, a bike ride, and I'm like, we can't do any of this for another three months. I Why would you? Do this. I don't even check the mail. It's like right. that. I don't even want to go outside. But why do we do this to ourselves? And the answer is really simple. I told Aunt the only reason you you um, stay where you are mm-hmm. is because of your family or That's your true. job. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Because if it wasn't for my family, and actually at this point, if it wasn't for my wife's family, yeah. Because you know, I would just say, let's go. 
Just pick There's up and better leave. places to live, but you're stuck in your area mostly because yep. of your family. Hannity had a thing he was talking about uh, leaving New York because uh, yeah, it ties into that Cuomo thing. Right, right. It's Cuomo, uh, our governor, said that uh, New York's not really a place for conservatives right. and conservative candidates because if you're uh, pro uh, anti abortion, if you're uh, pro assault weapon, which I don't even know what that means, um, and, uh, and anti gay. You have no place in in New York, right? And it's like, wow, that's what a dick thing to say. Dick thing to say. It's it's all ideology, first right. of all. Yeah. It doesn't necessarily go hand in hand with if you if you don't like the fact that gays are getting married, that does not go hand in hand with being anti-gay or or um, wanting uh, harm to come to gays or anything like that. That's your it's your opinion. Right. Um, abortion is a very strong issue, and it's a it's pretty much a fifty fifty issue in the country. I'm sure in New York. It uh, leans that's, closer to people wanting uh, the ability to get abortions. That, but again, it's a religious thing. It's an opinion. That's been a uh, extremely boring tug of war for 40 how yeah. many years, one years. Yeah, are yeah, we up yeah. to? Yeah. Where it's like, oh, they got the edge. Oh, now yeah. we got the edge. Yeah. Like nothing is getting done on that on that issue. And, and saying pro-assault weapons, it's semantics. You're saying pro-Second Amendment, which is a right to the Constitution, you dumb fuck. So uh, a lot of people are getting pissed at him. And Hannity, of course, being a, a conservative, right. Uh, right, uh, leaning right uh, Republican. Yeah. He, He's laying um, on his right shoulder. Right? Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> he uh, was saying that he will leave New York as soon as he can. Oh, that's just all. The people are saying it's a cop-out. What are you talking about? But that's all bullshit. He He's like, uh, I love the people that say they're going to leave. They never leave. But it's his job, and uh, his kids are going to school right. still, and stuff like that. So it is. I, but but the, I could relate because I would love to leave this state. Mm -hmm. I would love to take my fucking tax dollars and fuck you and leave and go somewhere else. Leave and uh, leave somewhere where I, I think personal freedoms are, are a little. Uh, uh, you would love Texas. Better, and you I were made for Texas. Like Texas. Um, is it California? California is terrible too. Yeah. Is it California? Oh my god, California is horrendous. Yeah, California is a uh, horrible. But, um, but, it, it, but but I can't leave either. I mean, you have responsibilities. You have uh, you know, you can't just pick up and fucking leave. It's not that easy. Oh, I would. Oh, it's easy. Huh? I have no problem. It's well, so easy. <laughs> there are just responsibilities you have to people and and and, and, and family, things like that, and and, and you know, yeah. there are just things that kind of keep you stuck in. I I have no love for New York State anymore, but, and I used to be a, a proud New Yorker, but uh, you realize this is such a lefty fucking state, such a nanny state, a state that's just stripping people of their their wealth. And their fucking uh, uh, rights and freedoms. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. You it's just a shitty thing for him to say, too. It is a shitty thing for him to say. You know, in America, people have different opinions on shit. Right. And I guess he doesn't want that. Well, they're trying to... The liberals his state. will constantly try to paint an opposing viewpoint as some type of extremism. Right. Yeah. So, so if you're against abortion... You're a person that would bomb an abortion clinic. Right. There's no gray area in there. If you're um, a, a pro Second Amendment person, you're a school shooter. Right. Uh, if you if you don't like the fact that you know two gay guys are making out in front of you, you want to kill gay you people. Need glasses. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you. What bar are you in? <laughs> but it, that's that's usually the way they operate. It's mm -hmm. uh, to paint uh, them as extremists and. And, um, yeah, I don't think that's it's just not true. Yeah, I don't think that's healthy. You gotta no. He's a you gotta you gotta consider asshole. all fuck. That's a dick thing to say. You gotta consider all opinions. Be a man. liberal asshole like your father. By the way, there, but there is a thing you said: cold climate. People who live in a cold climate live an average of nine years longer than people who live in a hot climate. So maybe mm. that's a motive. Mm. No, I'm not part of me. Oh, Jesus. you made that up? That was good. I, be, I bet there's some credence to that, though. Well, all I keep thinking about is that I, Sam said I look cheeky after a couple seconds oh, and I just fell apart. No, it's it, you You nail it, but then you can't hold on to no, it. No, I, I just panicked. I was actually thinking maybe a lot of third apart. world nations are in warmer climates than um, colder climates. So I bet you're right anyway. <laughs> I bet there is a disparity there. Yeah, I don't know. I just the was, older you get, though, this, this cold weather. Yeah, like, it just blows. 
Because one guy's like, cold climates are awesome. Oh, shut up. I hate people. You know when like, I was... I love getting up on a nice, brisk, crisp morning, taking a jog in the brisk, crisp air. Even shut when up. I was skiing a lot, <laughs> I hated being in cold climates because yeah. the downtime between getting to a, a slope sucked. Exactly. It takes much longer to Fuck get that. get your you know your shit together for the day. Yeah. I don't know. Why do people decide to settle in areas that the the literally the essence of life, water, right, turns to a solid? <laughs> right. It's like who thought that was a good idea? Hey, you know that water stuff that we need to live? Yeah, it freezes into a big block of solid shit. Easy to carry that way. <laughs> hey, well, hand me that true. water. All right, <laughs> you throw someone a block of water. That's great. Let's bring it in the cave and fucking heat it, and we'll just drink it. Yeah, try to carry yeah. regular water around. Yeah, yeah it's no, rough. And plus, there's no it's wildlife cumbersome. hunting you in the fucking winter. Well, I'll bet you that's why they like it. I, I bet there's I some th wolves and I, I few, but snow wolves. I, I think they're a bit more ornery in the winter. Are you oh, kidding me? Yeah. They really need the, the food at that point. Yeah, yeah. So, but it's cold. It's cold for what? Most of the country? Jimmy's going to Atlanta today, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to be cold down there as well. It's fucking... I checked the weather last night in Atlanta. It's it's It was on... Eight, 14 degrees here or 16 degrees here, 32 in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. So it's 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 human there, but it stinks. In it. It's now not for them. Yeah. Nine degrees here, 25 in Atlanta. So we're 16 degrees warmer here. It's nothing. Wow. Well, Meanwhile, it's LA below is below freezing. It's below freezing. Yeah. LA is 52 degrees and it's four in the morning. Oh, and they're wow. fucking. They're freaking out. Probably it's freezing. Yes. 52. Yes, they they. Don't they, understand. They don't like their chilly nights. No. No, they don't understand. <laughs> no. All right, so that's it on the weather, I guess. Yeah, although, that's our big weather break. Although, I don't have a picture of it, but did you hear about the Apple Store on yes. Fifth Avenue? Yeah, a little little window uh, mis mishap. No. A snow plow, I guess, uh, I don't know, got one of the blades caught, caught in the side of the Apple Store and shattered the whole fucking thing. It's going to cost a half million dollars. Wait. All of those windows, or just uh, one? It is shattered. I thought it was a panel. Just one window. Was it a one panel? Did they close the store or no? Um, I, 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 no, I would assume they would figure. Do you have a picture? Because I haven't it was seen all the crackle. picture. It was all crackly, but uh, it stayed oh, it in place. Oh, didn't cave in. Oh, no, I'm okay. sure they have like a Let safety. Let me see. They made it sound like this thing was shattered, shattered. It's one, one of the panels. Yeah, just one panel. Which panel, though? It, it, it looks like when an iPhone screen cracks. Which is ironic. Yes. There it is. See? Oh, this no. Yeah, see? That's a lot, though. Okay. What did that used to One be? One panel. That's uh, that's like 25 feet high. That's a panel that's about 20... Wait. Half six, two... Yeah. Probably 25 feet high by 8 feet, maybe. I'm, right? I'm sure that's an expensive piece of glass, and it has to be safety. They're saying a half yeah. million. You can't half million know. to Jesus. fix it. What did that used to be? Do you remember what that was before as an Apple store? I don't remember. That Apple mm -hmm. store is really cool because their glass box is, you know, you have to you walk downstairs. Right. There's nothing to see in that glass box from the street, really. It's yeah, strange. It's popping up. You go in and then you do. You take the staircase down to the action. I think that's probably the coolest store I've ever been is the New York Apple Store. That on Fifth yeah. Avenue. Yeah. Oh my god! Yep. A twenty-four hour Apple Store with just a big. If you haven't been here, it's a giant glass box on Fifth Avenue. Yeah, you, you walk just walk into in that. down the steps. It's so fucking cool. Well, man. most of them are glass boxes now, but but the uniqueness of that, there's nothing in yeah. that glass box. Everything's underground. Yeah, yeah. You you walk in and so yeah, walk they, downstairs and they tell you they don't have what you need. <laughs> oh, I know. Do you guys have any computers? No, we don't. Nothing. We're expecting some in. When? I don't know. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. All right. I guess I'll 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 come back here. Thanks. Do you have Do you have the iPhone? <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Forget it. Yeah. I bought a speaker from them that was a dud. Why was he really? not good? Well, a little iPhone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> For the shower, one of those things. Yeah. It's supposed to be great. Got great reviews. What is it, like a Wi-Fi Yeah, you do thing? the Wi-Fi Bluetooth action. Oh. So you can listen to tunes in the shower. Sure, sure. Doesn't fucking work. Why? And now we might have punched it, so now I don't... Oh, know if, yeah, that I probably... I don't know if I'm going to be able to bring it back, because now i got to explain why it's dented. It's never good to go, this doesn't work, and they see a big dent on us. <laughs> we all mad, wet, and nude, <laughs> punching <laughs> the speaker yes. in the shower. Your pubes were matted over the <laughs> shaft of your penis. Your fist was all sore with the speaker printed it. <laughs> sure can paint a picture. Sure. <laughs> uh, nude. So now I'm out a few. Yeah. A few Hyundais. Maybe I'll try to return it. 
Maybe they won't notice. Yeah, the soap caked in. No, oh, it looks brand holes. new. It's yeah, just a slight dent. Yeah, I'll just go. I don't know. It came this way. <laughs> I'll try that. <laughs> uh, Is that yeah. the thing Bob gave us for Christmas? Well, he gave me some shitty wine. He didn't give oh, me that. Oh, he gave me some weird little. You didn't get anything. Thing. No, he gave me the nice little basket of like chocolates and oh, crackers and cookies. No, my, I got I got yeah. shitty middle of the road wine. Middle of the road. I, I looked I looked it up. I middle guess I guess business has been dropping for him. He knows not to send me wine. He used to uh, send the nice bottle. Now it's like it's yeah. just middle of the road. I could tell he had that discussion. Like, oh, well, you know, something nice, but not too nice. Yeah. <laughs> and he laughed nervously. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just yeah. middle of the road shit. Yeah. yeah. I think we threw it in a stew or something. <laughs> Use it as cooking wine. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> this doesn't even he doesn't even know I don't even really drink wine anymore. Uh, that's how out of touch he's been. Oh, for the time I like my wine. Nice solid bottle of it, but yeah. not so much these days. <laughs> but it's the thought that counts, right, guys? Of course Thank it you. is. Absolutely. Thank yeah, you. That's exactly what it's he about. He gave me a little mini speaker. It, it looks like a coffee cup, but tall. Like, you know the new Apple hard drive that's, what's it called? The fucking core? Mm. It's, it's this new yeah. giant, uh, it oh, looks, the computer? the computer. It's a very small version of that, it's just a speaker. Yeah. And it's like this little black uh, cylindrical speaker oh, yeah. that I think is operates on Wi-Fi. It's pretty cool looking. Yeah, how many times have you shoved it up your ass? <laughs> it literally is there now. <laughs> Why do you think I'm sitting with my legs sticking straight out while oh, I'm broadcasting? <laughs> Wondering, I can't. If I bend my legs too much, my back comes up, so I have to <laughs> sit the legs straight out. All right. I know I can't. Let it go, Jim. We heard you. Well, well, well. <laughs>